15 years ago. Was it 15 years ago you took that little role that uh, yeah, it changed might your life? More. I don't even I don't know. Yeah, it could be even more than that. Can you believe it? We've watched him go, haven't we, Gary? We have. I feel like I've raised him in many ways <laughs> because I can remember when you first I came him. and we were chatting. It was you and I, wasn't it? Yeah. Chatting to you in yeah. the very first movie, and uh, it's so different now. Everything yeah. has changed, yeah. and you've got two extraordinarily grown-up movies out. I mean, I know <laughs> yes. you've done those since. No, but yeah, you're right. They, they are they are very different from from Harry Potter. Yeah, um, yeah. Imperium and Swiss. Army Man. Yes. Right. Let's start with Imperium. Sure. Uh, because it's, I mean, it's extraordinary. This was the movie that I think when people saw, uh, they saw you with your shaved head, they yeah. were very yeah. shocked. It was quite a dramatic difference. Yes. Yeah. No. I mean, this is a movie about, uh, based on the the, the true stories of uh, of a real life FBI undercover agent mm -hmm. who went undercover with a lot of white supremacists, uh, sort of white nationalist groups in America. Um, and so it's the story of him. Kind of, he was a very unlikely person. Mm -hmm. to, Mike was. You know, very smart and but not particularly, you know, physically Fun able. Line, and, yeah. and literally, somebody said to him one morning, they were like, "You've got blonde hair and blue eyes. You can be a Nazi." And that was his. That was as. That was his recruitment. That was as. As like, it, it was all very. And he really was, as my character is in the film. He was given a, a copy of How to Win Friends and Influence People and told that is the only undercover training you'll ever need. What I think is interesting about this is your under your character's undercover. Uh, with a group of white supremacists yes. and it's very interesting I think that that they are so fixated the FBI with the concern of ISIS and yes. ISIS groups and those, those sort of thing and that as a threat to domestic life that yeah. they forget that actually terror and hate comes in all forms comes and in all forms we absolutely. could be guilty of that here in the UK I mean, I th too I think I think we? we are everywhere I think everywhere at the moment there's a tendency among some people to tell us that terrorism only comes from one group of people you know my like my uh, my dad was from Northern Ireland so I, I grew up with the uh, knowledge that that is not the case and it comes from and your mum's Jewish and my, uh, my, my, yeah. my mum's Jewish and yeah, and yeah so like, I think though that I've always sort of you know I, I've been aware of that and and uh, and so that was that was a nice point that the that the film was making yeah. and also there's a reluctance often in America like when Dylan Roof um, did what he did in, in Charleston uh, there is a reluctance in among the sort of high ups in America to refer to that as terrorism um, they sort of refer to it as some sort of lone wolf thing whereas uh, so it, it, there was there was a couple of points that the film sort of makes that's what I liked about the film was that it functions as the, this sort of political conversation and just like a, a thriller like yeah. it's a straight thriller. And it is, yeah. and it's gripping all yeah. the way through. Uh, on the other end of the spectrum yes. is Swiss Army Man. <laughs> now, I've tried to explain this to Kate Garraway, and it's quite <laughs> tricky. When you were five, you thought, what I want to be is a corpse yeah. with a trumping problem. <laughs> well, yeah. It's I mean, a weird ambition, isn't it? Well, really? that's the thing. It's that's what sh what shouldn't work about the film is that the 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 sort of the flatulence. There's a few other bodily functions that come into it that sort of come to represent things that are absolutely universal that we are all taught to be kind of ashamed of. And it is uh, and it is a very weird, cr crazy film. But I I can absolutely guarantee this is something people hear said all the time. But I can guarantee you have seen nothing else like this. I I, I would absolutely. Amazing agree with that it's certainly yeah. one that you want to watch because you want to be able to talk about it with your friends because yeah you think it's absolutely special. it's absolutely brilliant as well ben and i will always feel very close to you and watch you very closely because of you being there kind yeah, of from the, the beginning which is brilliant and we watch you as a boy wizard we've seen you in equus when it's ripped off and we were researching well we thought when did this happen when did what happen there you go all oh. young oh. Oh, growing oh, up. Oh, oh. There. Oh, what is oh, this? Yeah. Boom. Well, um, what is Ab it? Abs by Steve yeah, Coleman. Is that what he said? Yeah, there you go. Abs by Steve Coleman. That was a little shoot you did for an Italian Vanity Fair? Yes. That that was. That's just how I hang out on boats. <laughs> that's just something I do sometimes. Um, I, remember, yeah. I remember interviewing Jada Pinkett Smith when she saw Will Smith on Bad Boys and she said, oh, the Fresh Prince's grown up. Right. When he runs there. And there you go. Harry well, Potter's grown up. That, that, thank you. I can only hope other people agree. Mind you, I love that that was supposed to be under that one, which I, I'm very pleased by that. You're putting everything <laughs> yeah, together. It's all making sense now. Sorry, I'm very slow. <laughs> it's it's all We're out of time, sadly, oh, Dan. We can chat. We can I talk know. forever. Uh, best of luck with Imperium and with Swiss Army Man. It Thank is you. a fascinating film yeah, in so many ways. on what's next? Um, uh, I don't know yet, but hopefully something will be announced soon. I remember feeling very down on my luck one afternoon. Just He, he caught me, he came around, and I was just eating a can of... Beans with a spatula. <laughs> no furniture. That. Beautiful flat, nothing in it. Where's home for you now then? Is it the States? No, it's still here. It's still here. It's here, but it's, I'm never here. But it's here.